Welcome back to another episode of Sip the Tally Films. And today's first video after this, the great, probably one of the greatest Monday Night Football games uh, ever, uh, we're going to talk to you about gap plays, gap runs. And what a lot of you don't know is there's a bunch of different type of, not a bunch of different type of runs, but different types of schemes that uh, offensive use to kind of tailor to their personnel. Uh, last year, we was more of like a zone read type uh, team, inside zone, outside zone. And we started there this year, but we're evolving into a gap run team. And gap runs are your counters, your powers, things like that. And so I got a couple of clips here I want to highlight, you know, basically showing our evolution to the gap run from the zone stuff of last year. Before we get started, I want to make sure I say thanks to my Patreon supporters. Uh, as you see them on the screen, they got their first shout out at the live um, call in show yesterday. And again, they're on the screen now. Uh, if you want to support, come on over to Patreon. I appreciate it. A uh, few perks over there, uh, more to come. Uh, thank you to my Patreon supporters. So let's get into the video. All right, if it's your first time here, make sure you do me a favor. Hit the like and the subscribe button. That's what we want you to do. Hit the like and subscribe button. Um, share it. We've, we're pushing 5,000. We just hit uh, 4,800 earlier today, uh, trying to get to 5K before the end of the season. So um, if you're not subscribed, please hit that like button. I mean, please hit the subscribe button. Do so. Hit the like button. That helps. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so you can be notified when I drop these random videos. Because this one is about to be random. All right, let's get into the film of it. Uh, gap runs. Again, like I said earlier, they're counter, power, and things like that. So I'm going to play, play the clip first like we always do on here and then come back and explain it after that. I got a little counter, a little counter to what's going on. Let's back it up, see if we talk about what's going on. And this more so, this pin and pull. I thought this was counter, but this more so pin and pull. And that's another scheme, but it's always going to kind of fit in the, the misdirection type flow that the gap plays kind of do. So watch what happens here. So this is a pin and pull. They're blocking down. They're going to double there. Uh, he should be blocking down. So that means our center, because he has nobody in this gap and we got another puller he should block out and he should pull off over his email on line screen i think that's what we got going on on this pin and pull let me see let me make sure let me slow it down and make sure that's what's happening so you got phillips pulling as a tackle and you got the center pulling which is i think is mccarr so mccarr should be pulling for 56 phillips should be pulling to clean up whatever shows up this is pin and pull. And then this is the gap right here. So that's the kick out. It's the pull for whoever shows up. Nice hole there. Somebody got in front of the backside, but nice hole. And that's your little extra play. This is a counter. This is the little counter badge that we've been been had we've had so much success over the past couple of um weeks. So basically you're gonna get, 54 is gonna be read. He's gonna be the read guy, the guy that Lamar should be reading. If he widens with Dobbins going across, he keeps it and runs the counter behind the this puller and this puller. If he squeezes when the pullers go, he gives it to Dobbins and Dobbins comes out here and has to you know, do his thing with these people out here. So probably some receivers will come out here blocking.
as you can see, he's unblocked. They got an extra guy out here anyway, so it's probably in Lamar's best interest to keep this anyway because they got two guys for Dobbins. Now, what's going to happen on this end, we got a double team right here. Miles Gary going to be kicked out by Bozeman. Lamar's going to fit right up, on, right up under Orlando. Orlando should pull right in this gap to hit 93, I think, or out here to get 51. But I think he's coming in here to get 93. And 93 scrapes over. So it's a good job of scraping by 93 and reading his keys. But he scrapes right into Orlando. And we fit it right off this double team that was right here and right off Orlando's uh, pool. Let's go to the next play. Got a, we got overloaded. You got Orlando. You got Bozeman. You got Makari. You got Ben Powers, who's been playing well. In my opinion, you got Fluker. Now you have a Skura, and you got um, Ricard. It's a lot of beef up there. Let's see what they do. And you bring a Sneed in motion to get a bill part of blocking scene. So I think this power. Let me slow it down and see. I think this is power. Yep, this is power. Now, Sneed's pulling. We're well, not pulling. In motion and should come down and block this guy that's going to come down and, and follow in the box. All right, everybody else should be down. Might probably get a double team there. Double team there. Double team there. And this double, this double team, one of these two guys should end up blocking 50. Should end up blocking 50. Because Bowden's going to pull around and pick up. Should be 51. Should be 51. Let's see it. Got your double team right here jumping off. Got your down block right here. Got your stabbing hinge by stabbing hinge by Orlando. Uh, it's one-on-one -on -one block right now, but it should end up in a double. And one of them may come off. Let's see. All right, Macari came off, came off of that linebacker. So now Sneeze responsible for this dude. Bozeman responsible for this guy. Hat on the hat. And we got another alley. Look at that. Luca got an alley. Got an alley seal right there. That's what we've, we've gotten better at, especially with the, because Fluker's not a, 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 a agile guy. Orlando's not a agile guy, so to speak. He does have good feet. So we got to do more of these things because we can't get on the edge and get moving like we sh should with inside and outside zone. So it's a good job of, you know, evaluating to trying to do something different to fit your personnel. Same play. Same play again. Feel like the same exact formation. Another big game, though. Another big game. Same personnel in there. Uh, Dobbins is here. I think that Sneed gonna come across. So, again, I'm gonna explain it again. <laughs> she get down, down. Double, double. Double. Pull. Sneed's going to probably get one of these skill guys, and Bozeman should pick up 51. Uh, this guy should be blocked coming off one of these double teams. Same result. Now, this guy, Sheldon Richardson, was able to get off a little bit. Let's see how he got off. Who did he get away from? He got off the double team. This is Richardson right here. So they should have whooped his butt. He got he did he spent out the double team and kind of got in the way a little bit. Watch him spin. He spin. Now he gets away from both of them. But Dobbins quick enough to get away from him. <laughs> Still get about seven, eight yards. Look at look at look at Ricard and Ben Powers working on that linebacker. So this is Ben Powers right here. This is Ricard. They're gonna end up on they're gonna end up on this dude. And watch what they do to him. Bam. Now, Ricard has him right now. Ben's coming. Let me have y'all there, good buddy. So now they already five yards down the field. 10, 12, on the ground. That's what I'm talking about. Finishing block. I love it. Love it, Ben. Love it. Now get a little different look. Let's see what we got. Card goes to tight end. Now 
I think this is supposed to have been like a counter read, I think. I think this is supposed to have been a counter read. I think this guy was the read guy. Let me slow it down and try to figure this out. So right now, what I'm thinking is down, down. I don't think this is being important. Let me, I got to watch it. Let me see. Maybe it's like a pin and pull with a read. And I thought it was a gap. Because the guy that the guys that are pulling, they are following the pin and pull like the um what's the word I'm looking for? The rules. Let me take this off. So for the pin and pull rules is especially if the play is going if the play is going in this direction, if somebody is inside of you, you block down. If if nobody's inside of you, you pull. And with that being said, that should be a down block. He's head up, so he got to take him. He's going down anyway because he's the age man. He sets the age. All right? Nobody's here, so that means the center pulls. Nobody's here because they're reading this guy, so that means Fluker pulls. So if I'm not mistaken, Makari and Fluker, Fluker is going to pull, and you may see Lamar's eyes go straight to this defensive end. Let's see if we can stop it. Lamar's eyes are right there on the defensive end, so they're reading it. But he's crashing down, so Lamar probably should have kept this. Lamar should have kept this, but watch Gus stick his foot in the ground and go where Lamar should have went. Lamar should have kept this ball, and Gus basically just runs Lamar's path. I mean, because he still could have, if he ran it, he probably would have had space. Let's don't don't look at don't look at this right now. Look look over look over here. Look over here. Look at that. Look at this hole. Had Gus, you know, if the guy don't chase Gus down from the back. Look at that hole. But now I'll go back to the other side of the screen. Lamar, uh, Gus is running the path Lamar should have got should have taken by keeping the ball. And it ends up being a touchdown. Now look at Sneed. No block, no rock. No block, no rock. Look at the little guy. Look at Marquise out here. No block, no rock. Touchdown. Touchdown. Good job of adjusting. This play six. This might be our last play. Let counter. Counter bash again. But I'm going to show you the nuances of it because this play is not supposed to go to the same side. Lamar, Lamar faking it and running to the same side is not supposed to happen. What's supposed to happen is, uh, we talked about it earlier. If this guy widens, Lamar follows the pullers and goes this way. But I'm assuming this guy widened and Lamar just said, boom, right there. Let's see. I right, see him coming up the field. Lamar's looking at him. Garrett's staying wide, so he got to keep it. He should keep it because Gary's wide. He should keep it and follow these pullers. Conventional football says for him to keep this ball and follow the pullers. But this guy vacates, and this dude right here with this superb athletic vision does something of, against conventional football wisdom. So he shouldn't be following these guys trying to fight a way up, you know, over here somewhere. He just finds, he just runs to daylight. And then. I don't know what happened to this dude, but he in good position to make this tackle. But we all know he didn't make this tackle. Let's see. Terrible angle. He got outran. Again, that was good blocking. And let him go once he got passing. Good, good block right there. Uh, I'll abuse this guy. Make you look silly. I almost still form you and make you look bad by getting still formed by a quarterback. Get it down. Again, it's a good job of adjusting to, like, just not constantly running stuff that wasn't working. Because early in the year, we were inside zone, zone read, um, like midline zone, read net, and it just was not working. We've, evolved, we've put something else in the toolbox to help those other things work also. And we ain't just straight pistol, you know, no more doing that, 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 
inside zone or the midline zone, or whatever, whatever they call it. I think that was the last play. Let me make sure. Oh, we got one more. We got one more. This is the last play. All right. Look at that look again. With all that beef up there. You got your two extra guys. You got Skura, Makari here, Sneed here, so I'm sure he's blocking being this close to the line of scrimmage. I think this is regular count. And Gus just happened to hit it and make a great play. If I'm not mistaken, this is regular count. It might be pinning for Let's see. I want to say this. This should be power. One back power, but nobody's kicking the in out. I think this was messed up. I think this was messed up. I think Snead should have been getting in here to be the kick out guy. And I think the puller should have been rapping to 51. Hold on, I got something on the screen. I think the puller, which is Bozeman, should have been rapping to 51. So I think that's this should have been one back power. And everybody else should be down. Everybody else should be working double team there to there. Uh, double team that to anything that show up. So, or maybe maybe there. Yeah, McCarr's, McCarr's going here. So, this, he, he should be blocked by the puller. I think Sneed was supposed to get inside of this guy. He didn't. So, now we lose a blocker because Sneed don't get him. Now they got the numbers. But watch Gus stick his foot in the ground and get out of it. Did not fit the ones in the hole. He should make that tackle. 51 should make that tackle. He's unblocked. Uh, we kind of screwed the, the blocking up a little bit. So he's in perfect position to make this tackle. Whiffs. 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 Now Gus turns it on. Now the doors are closed. The keys are on the bus. So now all you got to do is just get on and go for the ride. First stop, no kids getting off. Second stop, no kids getting off. Third stop, we at the school with bus doing the airplane. So again, we've adapted, we've added something to the toolbox to go along with the inside run. It's called gap runs for those that didn't know. The gap runs are counter, power, and the first play was pin and pull. That's a whole nother different set of runs, but you know, it's effective also. And just add to the toolbox so you just can't line up and say they're going to run inside zone all day or they're going to run outside zone all day. They're going, they're going to add count. They're going to add power. And we run power a bunch of different ways. I like the way we do it. Personnel fits it. And uh, the backs and Lamar help it out also. You got to play 11-on-11 11 11 football. Hopefully we can keep progressing in this run game and get some play action and get our passing game stuff going and, um, you know, get these last three victories to get us into the playoffs. So, um, that's the end of this video. I'm again, I'm Coach Evans with Silver Tally Films. If you can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. And um, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate y'all being here. And uh, I'm out. With the